Hello, everyone, and welcome to AEW Dark Elevation. I'm Excalibur, joined by Daddy Magic, Matt Menard, and the third member of our broadcast team, Justin Roberts. The opening contest is a tag team bout set for one fall with a 20-minute time limit. Approaching the ring, being accompanied by Vicky Guerrero, the problem, Marina Shafir, and the native beast, Nyla Rose. Yeah! Oh, it is hot in Buffalo tonight, Excalibur. Well, momentarily hot. Yeah, it's a little chilly outside. Yeah, the well, I mean, we are in an ice rink. You know, a little it's been chilly all afternoon. Overcast, dreary. Yeah, it's very, very dread. Typical Buffalo. Here we go. But you know what's going to liven things up? Tell us. An hour of action here on AEW Dark Elevation. I mean, I'm excited. Nyla Rose is pumped. The fans at home are pumped. You know that for a fact? I mean, I'm sure my mother's very excited. And their opponents, the team of J.C. Storm and Joel Clift. J.C. Storm, Joel Clift, making their AEW debuts here tonight, but they're gonna have a problem on their hands, Daddy. Huge problem. The problem, Marina Shafir. That's her name, you know. The problem. No, that's what it's a nickname. It's a journalistic transition. Yeah, very well done. Thank you. You've done this before. Uh, Whoa! Oh. Hey, she's not messing around tonight. Oh, yes! And Shafir, the right hand. Hey, we're not backing down this one, though. Who's that, Yoel? I believe it's Joel. Oh. Clift. Sorry, my bad. Well, that's quite all right. Got a tag there. Tag made by Marina Shafir. Oh, wait. She's just got to get that back. These oh, once again. Hey, is there a prior issue here? Wait, a roll up. I am very but confused. Who's legal? I believe Nyla Rose yeah. is. <laughs> the big Vader. And J.C. Storm finding out the hard way that Nyla Rose is the legal member oh, of the opposing team. Oh, boy, that could have been it right there. It's going to cover something. Oh, God, a big squish. This is something. It was a big squish. It was a huge squish. Now, Daddy, does Nyla Rose have a hood, uh, like a, a hoodie hood on the back of her ring attire? Yeah, looks like it. A hood, that, that's definitely a hoodie hood. Got, oh, a kick to the kneecap. Nyla Rose not playing around here tonight. That was. We got a big suplex. Vertical suplex. Nyla rolls through, maintains control. We're going for multiple suplexes here. Hooks up Joel Clip. No. Nope. What do you call that? Uh, Gord Buster? Gord Buster. Yeah, how about that? I played a few video games. Huh? You created a few wrestlers. That's right. That's right. I think that is a hood. Could be a choking hazard. No? Is that, I is this it? This is the big thing. Oh, no, oh no. my God. Holy smokes. It's over. One, two, three. Wow! No way is this match. Nyla Rose and Marina Shapir. Can somebody check on Yoel? Good night, Marina Shapir, planting her head into the mat. Unbelievable! Marina Shapir and Nyla Rose, yet another dominant performance here to kick us off on AEW Dark Elevation. Impressive. This team, so, so it's, it's a nightmare matchup I mean, for anybody. They're, they're taking over the ladies division. It's something. Who's excited to see MJF? Wednesday on TBS. It's the last stop before the Grand Slam event. The Tournament of Champions continues with two huge matches. It's my championship, and no one is taking that away from me! The rematch of Chris Jericho and Brian Danielson, and Sammy Guevara faces John Moxley. This isn't just time to win. This is time to be a legend. AEW Wednesday Night Dynamite, live at 8 on TBS. Honoring the House of Black, Julia Hart in action next here on AEW Dark Elevation. Oh boy. Only one thing. House of Black. Could be Sting. Oh, House of Black. This contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Honoring the House of Black, Julia Hart. 
Julia Hart making her way to the ring here, quickly becoming one of my favorite performers, I gotta say. She is as ruthless as she is efficient. She truly is. And, you know, she really takes her time now. Have you noticed? I guarantee you she's gonna start this match. She's gonna stare this. Who, 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 she, who she wrestling here? She's staring at you. The Oh, yes, yeah, she is. Take a look at that. And her opponent, Tiara James. Tiara James. No Tiara on the head. Oh, good that's just, Yeah, she doesn't want to what do you think? lose it while she's out there. That's a good point. Yeah. That's a good point. Now, watch for Julia Hurt to take her time. That's what she does. Huh? I should take. Take the over with Julia Hart. <laughs> Taking her sweet ass time. Yeah, Julia just very slowly. I mean, just punch her in the face, right? What are we doing? Oh, are Tierra you? James, I think, was expecting Colorado to tie up instead of stomp to the foot. Stomp on the toe. And then James goes face first to the top turnbuckle pad. Julia. Hey, just gonna smash the face here. I love it. Oh. Julia Hart, yes! Julia oh Hart! Just completely keep going, unhinged. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Why are we stopping the crowd loving it here? I mean, that is so disorienting having your, your head bounced off the mat like that. It has to be. Oh, Tierra James, though. She's shaking the cobwebs. And now, Tierra James, a couple shots to Julia Hart. Here we go, reversal. Julia sends Tierra oh, into the ropes with a thrust kick underneath the jaw, it. and there's the hair whip once again. She loves that kick. Look for the moonsault here. Nicely done. Moonsault press, one. Oh, Julia. Pulls Tierra up off the mat. Yeah, she uh, wants to inflict a little more punishment, it looks like. What do you think we're looking for this big clothesline here? what she does. A blindside clothesline. Look to finish it. And now, Julia with the arm hooked, the overhook, the neck crank. Oh, it is heartless. Yes. And it, it is. is the end of the match. There it is. Nowhere to go. Efficient, Julia Hart. Efficient, Julia Hart. Yeah, ruthless efficiency. There you go. By Julia Hart. Look at that. Really impressive win here. Here we go, big kick right to the jaw. And then this was the end of the night for Tierra James. Julia locks in, heartless. And James with literally no choice but to tap out. No choice, nowhere to go. Julia Hart, victorious. How so is win. Julia seems to be always winning. She seems to say, and she does, on a roll. Elevation, Buffalo, New York. Tag team action up next here on AEW Dark Elevation. Dante Martin and Matt Seidel take on the unlikely duo of Serpentico and Zach Clayton. of Serpentico. Yeah. The reason for that is the last time we saw Serpentico and Zach Clayton, it was Zach Clayton scoring a win in singles competition over Serpentico. And I hear, what, what, what do you think, Luther brought them together? I think he's gonna have a little I think Luther, here. yeah, trying to be the peacemaker, maybe trying to have Zach Clayton become a part of, uh, you know, part of Chaos Project. Yeah, maybe. I mean, that's the kind of guy Luther is. You know, he really brings people together. He's, he's got a lunatic. He's got a lot of media savvy as well. That's for sure. The team of Matt Seidel and Dante Martin. Now this is exciting right here. I was took the words out of my mouth. I was going to say a, a tag team that is always exciting. Very exciting. Matt Seidel, legendary professional wrestler performance. Legend, yeah. right? And Dante yeah. Martin, a legend in the making. Absolutely. You know, you know, Matt Seidel, he loves being uh, like a mentor. He does. Right? The young and up and numbers. Big, big, Dante Martin, Lee Moriarty. Well, I mean, he also has the uh, the side dojo in Clearwater as well. There you go. There you go. Helping train the next generation of professionals. Yeah, he looks great. Look at him. He's ripped. Matt Seidel, sick jacket, too. Here we go. Tag team action, elevation. Oh, I got fired up. Buffalo, baby. New York. Hey, you know what I'm fired up about? What's this that? chair today? Yeah. 
it's perfect. Oh, yeah? Saturday night, the chairs. Woo, left something to be desired to tell you right now. It slant that my ass cheek was in the air. It was really something. Here we go. Oh, oh. oh that double drop kick right there. Zach Clayton removed from the equation and Serpentico looking a little, uh, yeah. <laughs> who, who doesn't love Serpentico? Come on. One of the best. Do you, do you call him Serp? I, or al Serp? always, always Serpentico. Oh, yeah. Serpentico. Serp? People call him Serp? Oh, Luther was just screaming Serp. Huh. Is that his first name? Oh, oh boy. Serpentico. Serp takes a beating. Is Luther in this contest? Oh, oh wait, Dante Martin! <laughs> who does it better than Dante Martin? Come on. Dante Martin taking to the skies. Getting a, a three for one there. Absolutely spectacular. Who's legal? Seidel's in the ring here. Pentaco. Oh, you're gonna hit. use a surname. Well, I don't know what to do anymore. You confused oh, me. Oh wait, Dante! Out. The nose dive! That's it! One, two, three! It's over! The winner of this match, the team of Matt Seidel and Dante Martin. Man, we said it was gonna be exciting. I mean, every second of this was exciting. That was, they delivered. Absolutely, as we catch your beautiful moonsault, Dante Martin, that's what he does best. The nosedive may be the most spectacular finishing move in all for it's a wrestling. It's, it's unbelievable. Dante Martin, every week he's pulling out something new. Hey, you know, side out line for the right. Yeah. Serpentico is closing in on 100 AEW career losses. I mean, that's rough, I mean. And Dante Martin and Matt Seidel uh, helped him get closer, one step closer. Where are we at? Number here. I mean, God bless Sir Pentico. You know, he keeps yeah. coming out. Yeah. Good, old, good old Mr. Pentico. There we got the winners right there. Dante Martin, Matt Seidel, Elevation, Buffalo, New York. Keep excited. The Fallen Goddess, Athena, goes one-on-one -on -one with Her Majesty, Emi Sakura, next. Sakura go round. This contest is set for one fall with a 20-minute time limit. Making her way to the ring, Emi Sakura. You gonna show a little respect for the queen? This week? Your Majesty. That's right. Thank you. What was I not showing respect? Hey, I'm just saying. I don't know if it was you or Shivani, somebody who was very disrespectful. It had to be Shivani. You know? You and I called the, uh... That's right. The, uh, Regina D. Wave match. Hell of a challenged, uh, match. Yeah, Hikaru Shida. That was a great match. That's right. And now, Emi Sakura turning to action here tonight on AEW Dark oh, Elevation. That crown. There goes the left crown. Turn. There's a rope crown. Yeah. ago at All Out, where disappointingly for Athena, she was not able to dethrone Jade Cargill. Yeah, no question about that. Athena gonna be looking to get back on her winning ways here. Yeah, it's Emi Sakura. Unfortunately for Athena, she was victim of what, number 37? 37, Jade Cargill, but you know, Athena knows just as anybody, or just as well as anybody that the most important thing you can do from a loss is learn and improve. And that's what Athena is set out to do here tonight. You got a rebound. Here we go. Look for a handshake. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Now, you, up, you up want to talk, talk about respect. Up yours, Athena. Let's go. <laughs> yes. Emi Sakura. Oh, no. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. I mean, Athena's not going to fall for this twice, will no. she? The Greco Roman knuckle. Oh, 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 it's getting nasty real early here. Athena and Emmy. Wow. Fired up. Here we go. Test of strength. I love it. This is fun. Yeah, Greco Roman knuckle lock. Right. Who will have the advantage? I just said test of strength. What you call it? Greco Roman knuckle lock. Yeah, yeah it's kind of a tough yeah. cheek. Uh, All right. All right. Here yeah. we go. Emi Sakura. Yeah, she's got the advantage here. Look at that face. Bridging Athena back. And Athena. Showing off her flexibility here, Athena. Ooh, Emi Sakura trying to force Athena down to the mat. Putting the pressure. Look at the neck. Of Athena there. But she, Athena bridges up. Monkey nice. flip. Done. Nicely done. Sent Emi Sakura for a ride. Athena closes the distance. Not allowing Sakura a moment to breathe. Here comes Athena now. Big flip. Front hands. Oh, wow. into the elbow. Now let me ask you, do you think that flip that added anything or is that just a show off? 
I added a little force right there, Boomer, right there, Fred. I think it, right there, Fred. Yeah, that's right. All right, I right, said Fred. Here oh, we wait. go. I'm too sexy. I know. I don't know what that I mean, is. I mean, soccer. Oh, oh, oh my <laughs> goodness. I thought she was going for a slop drop there for a second. Here we go, getting the crowd good. No cover, no nothing. No. He's in control, soccer right here. I love it. Big fan of the queen. Yeah, yeah. Show off your vocals. Yeah, he will chop you. <laughs> yes. There she does. Another one. The feet is hurting here. And now Emmy sucked with a diving cross body. Right to the midsection. Yeah, Athena really in trouble here. She truly is. I would love to see a cover here, a cover attempt. Yeah, Emmy Sakura. Emmy really taking her time. Not, not wrestling like uh, as if she's coming off a tough loss of her own. Here we go. Own. Double but underhook. Into the backbreaker, Sakura. Again, no urgency on the none, cover. None, none. And, she, and she's, she's inflicting damage here. You know, Ath yeah. Athena, she's in trouble. I think uh, Emmy Sakura believes she has everything right, it's well time in hand. Here, a little respect. It's tea time. Tea time. Tea time. All right? A little sip of tea for the queen. How do you like that? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> I wasn't saying anything. Oh, 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 what a oh, shot! Oh. Sometimes I want to do that to you. Oh, take it easy there, pal. Oh, Emmy Sakura. Was that a little bite? Now digging the fingernails okay. into the lower back and then... The boot uh, to the side of the head. Emmy Sakura mean, has not attempted one cover yet this entire but, match. But she's been in control the entire way. Here we, is, she, uh, is she taking her to breakfast with a little pancake action? You know, the big, the big pancake that she does. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, double under yeah, pancake. Queen's Gamble. That's right. Yeah. What I call it? Uh, pancake. <laughs> How do you say uh, pancake? Another shot. Also say. Uh, crepe. No, it's just crepe? Yeah, that's right. Oh. But they're two different. Oh, oh no, Athena! God, not in French or not. Oh, geez. oh, roundhouse! Just smoking her. Heck. Just smoking her. And now, Athena hammers soccer on the back. The drop kick, big impact there. I, you, you got, you, you got to wonder if Emmy Soccer is regretting not going for a cover earlier in the contest. I would most certainly think so. Because Athena. And Athena's not going for a cover either here. No urgency to end this match by either competitor. No, I think they're both looking to inflict a maximum amount of punishment to taste. Started off hot. Oh! Backdrop. Sakura. Oh, Emmy Sakura, though. Well, she likes it. She's firing up. She sure is. And now Athena, wild swing and a miss. Sakura. Nice chop right there. Landed it hard. Lays in. Two big chops. A third one. Woo! Okay. Hear him up here. Oh, the chop lariat combination. I don't, think, I don't think Athena was expecting that. At all. Let's get a cover, though. Come on, I'm begging you, somebody. Oh, wow. This is. Athena showing off her spirit. No. Powerbomb rolls Emmy Sucker. Right in the face. Rust kick. Whoa. She's going for it here. Emmy Sakura is very clearly dazed. Athena to that Look top. Up. Oh, face. Holy smokes. Good night. One, two, three. What a contest. No winner of this match. Athena. Victorious and Athena. Extremely physical back and forth oh battle. It sure was. Take a look right here. Big double drop kick. I don't know, double drop kick. I don't know why said that. Big kick there. And that thrust kick is what set Athena up for that O face to come flying in Good and night. to score the victory. Well done, Athena. Back on her winning ways. I have to correct myself. I've never wanted to hit you that hard. But. Thank you. I mean, that was a little hard, right? Just a bit much. I mean, that... You take a little, what, 50% off? Yeah. Thank you. Maybe 49, but still, oh. you know, Athena. An impressive victory, an impressive return to form here tonight on AEW Dark Elevation. Buffalo, New York. Keep it set. Woo! Great. Buddy Matthew, Brody King of the House of Black in tag team action next here on AEW Dark Elevation. Oh, no, not again. Is it... Maybe gonna be Sting this time? Sting! I hope so. The Stinger! Yeah. Right here on Elevation! Yeah, he kicked your ass. I almost said a bad word. Uh, what are you gonna do? Yeah. Sting! Right here. Oh, no. It's not. It's oh, man. Why did I keep falling for that? This guy's again.
tag team bats it for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Being accompanied by Julia Hart, honoring the House of Black, Buddy Matthews and Brody King. Is there more intimidating entrance in all of AEW? What do you think? I can't name one. I mean, it's pretty impressive. Yeah, maybe Julia Hart's entrance by herself. Julia Hart, that good for her double payday here on Elevation. Double dipping, Julia. You think, you think the House of Black cares about that kind of stuff? I mean, listen, you got to be thinking about retirement. That's all I'm saying. I mean, I know Julia Hart is very young. Look at this. What is that? A ski mask? Does that the House of Black offer a 401k program? <laughs> They're very good with their money, I heard. They do a very elaborate entrance attire. That stuff's not cheap. Lights out again. And I mean, if you're you're the, the opponent of Buddy Matthews and Brody King, you gotta be quaking in your boots. No question about that. And their opponents, the team of Isaiah Prince and Cubes. Who? Cubes? He's he's doing cubes, but he's doing a rectangle. That looks like flat to me. I'm very confused. Who's cubes? Hey, it says on his ass there. Oh, that's cubes. Oh, so cubes. the other guy was just making. So Isaiah Prince was just making a rectangle shape. I mean, even though. Buddy Matthews, unbelievable shape. Look at this guy. Who's this cubes? He doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> well, neither does Isaiah Look Prince. At this. Oh, Prince. Sorry, my bad. Crowd coming alive here in Buffalo. Yeah, the crowd in Buffalo supporting, honoring the House of Black. Now, Kyler Novo tie up Buddy Matthews just backing Prince up to the corner. I want to see Buddy just run and take his head right off. That's what we're going to see. Come on, give it to him, Buddy. Right, two for flinching, man. You know, for a guy named Buddy, he's not very nice. No. He's not nice at all. He's one of the least you personable know? men in our entire locker room. Buddy. Oh, boy. I don't want to piss him off. Get in there, Cube! Yeah, people like Cubes here. Oh, Rubik's Cube. Well, they're not saying boo. They're saying Cubes. <laughs> cubes. Is that, a, is that an old Simpsons joke? Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Buddy Matthews taking his sweet time. Oh, that's why Buddy was smiling, there because he's going go. to bring in the heater. <laughs> Get this guy! Brody King. Look at all these tattoos. What's that about? Wow, a little ambiance here by uh, Buddy Matthews. Bring it out through hey the guys, guys. bang center. Something's going to happen. I can't wait. Oh, boy. Oh. Yes. <laughs> wow. What's up, Black? They know how to do it, man. Maybe I can join them. Oh, no, Chris. <laughs> I'm just pulling out my phone. Here we go. Larry in the corner. One for Prince, one for Cubes, another one for Prince. God, this guy's huge. And he just... Stacking up Prince and Cubes. Now, Brody oh, King. God. Yeah, take a hike, Prince. How about that? Tremendous, tremendous impact. And look at Buddy uh, chopping at the bit here to get back in. What are we, what, what are we barking? What is Brody's going thinking? on? He does that. Usually the prelude to the big cannonball sent out in the corner. Smokes. And if he hits that, it's going to be. Uh, oh, a high boot there for Prince. Oh, boy. No. Brody. The cannonball in the oh, corner. Oh, no, thank you. Oh, God, it's Monday night. The week just started. And now oh. the knee. Matthews. What do you call the this? Pump handle driver. You call it all she wants. One, wrote. two, three. I love it. That was this match. Brody King and Buddy Matthews. An absolute display of dominance by the House of Black. That was fun. Uh, can, we, can we do it again? We have a big squisher here. Oh, in the corner. No, thank you, and again. Oh, God. Brody King strikes the corner with so much velocity that a man, you know, 300 pounds just bouncing off. It's really something. And you got to wonder, it's just a matter of time before, I mean, I mean, this guy gets a title contention for something. Well, you the, know? The House of Black, Brody King, Buddy Matthews. They keep it up. They may be knocking on the door of the AEW World Tag Team Champions. Very proud Julia Hart here. Buffalo, New York. That's where we're at.
hard-hitting Hikaru Shida in action next here on AEW Dark Elevation. This next contest is set for one fall with a 20-minute time limit. Making her way to the ring, Hikaru Shida. What a treat here on Elevation Shida. Wrestling the way you remember it. Elevation, Buffalo, New York. Ladies action, coming at ya. Hikaru Shida, the Regina Deep Wave champion. Returning to action here tonight on AEW Dark Elevation. Shida always one of the most popular athletes here in all elite wrestling. Certainly is. She and her opponent, Christina Marie. Christina Marie. Two first names. Yeah. How about that, huh? Never trust somebody with two first names. You ever hear that one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's a thing. I, You're not gonna elaborate it on. I mean, no, that's, what's that's your all personal I got. experience that's, that's with all it? I got. Okay. Nothing. It's just a thing people say. Oh, Cheetah. Yeah, yeah, she's a little feisty here. Wild swing. Oh, yeah, boy. Oh, big shot. She with Look a out. big elbow. Uh, get your hand up. Sliding elbow strike. That's it right One, there. two, oh. no. Christina Marie. It's nice to see somebody go for a cover, you know? That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> here we go. He's subtweeting people <laughs> live on the air. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, Christina Marie comes behind. Right there. Got Sheeta locked in the sleeper. Sleeper hold. Yeah. Going old school here. Kind of reminiscent of what happened to. No, that's enough. I don't want to hear all it. All right. I'm talking about cool hand. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Big slap. Is that what you're going to do to me if I brought up cool hand? You're, you're damn right I would. Sheeta here getting the crowd behind her. Hikaru Sheeta. Oh, yeah. wasted a little too much time. She sure did. Christina Marie making. Hey, hey, buckle right there. Sorry. Hikaru Sheeta pay. Stomps to the midsection. Classic stomps. Eat the boot, Sheeta. How do you like that? How's it taste? You were just cheering for her. I don't know. I flip flop. What do you want from me? Here we go. Christina Marie. Marie Christina. Nobody knows. Scoop and a slam avoided by Hikaru Sheeta. She, you can see how she's widening her vertical yeah, base. Nice, nice base there by Sheeta. Now Hikaru Sheeta. Delayed vertical suplex. Up and down. Sheeta seems to be in a bit of a mood here, maybe coming off uh, all out. Yeah. The big four way. Or AEW interim women's four way, or women's world championship four way. Things didn't go her way that night. Now won by Tony Storm, but now Hikaru Sheeta. Just hammering right away. Hands. All right, get, you got to get your hands up here, Marie, Christina. Wolf. And Hikaru Sheeta now. Christina Marie very dazed. Sheeta perched on the middle. What are we looking for? Meteora. And Christina Marie, this could be the end of the night. A <laughs> katana to the side of the head. Boy. Two, three. Good night. Here is your winner, Hikaru Sheeta. Look what it says on, uh, on her cheek right there. You know what that says? Buffalo. How about it, huh? Hey. That's where we're at here tonight. Buffalo, New you're York. Not, you're not the only one that knows what city we're in. How about it? Sheeta, victorious. A very impressive victory for the hard-hitting Regina D-Wave champion, Hikaru Sheeta. The wingman's Ryan Nemeth goes one-on-one -on -one with John Silver of the Dark Order. Coming up next. Approaching the ring from the Hollywood, California, the Hollywood Hunk, Ryan Nemeth. Here you take a look, Excalibur. The Hollywood Hunk. Any second, this music's gonna stop. You're gonna hear these people. Hunk, 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 hunk. I promise. Have you told me? I promise you. I'm waiting for it. You promise me. I'm waiting for it. You know the, the roles this guy gets in Hollywood. It's really something. Yeah, I mean, you know the the backstory about how he's uh, pilfering people's bags. No, no, that's, not, no, that's not what he does. That is. He that's Eddie Kingston's shirt he's wearing. Huh. Join the Dark Order. Oh, boy. And his opponent, Johnny Hungy, John Silver. I, I like John Silver. 
I thought it was gonna be Ken. I don't like that guy. Why not? Ah, listen. Join don't worry about it. Stole the last cooking and catering the other day. You can see both Alex Reynolds and Ten still on crutches after the physicality over the last few weeks. Yeah, I mean. But John Silver, though, is ready to go. Shape. He's ready to go. Look at the double guns. Look at that face. Face only a mother could love. I met his mother. You have you? Yeah, at the hotel in uh, Chicago. Nice lady? Yeah, real nice lady. That's met great. his dad, too. That's great. Nice guy? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, both, nice both of them wearing uh, John Silver merchandise. Very nice. Here we go, the Dark Horner. I mean, they had, they had a hell of a week last week, you know? All those trios matches, things didn't go their way, but what an effort. Yeah, tremendous effort at All Out by John Silver, Alex Reynolds, and Hangman Page. There, there was one fall in that match. <laughs> And he pulls through. I mean, I bought it. The, the, the whole building bought it. Unbelievable. I thought that was going to be it right there. There you go. Look at the hunk. Nice ankle pick. Hunk, 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 hunk. I told you. Now, was that an ankle pick or was he trying to steal John Silver's boot? Uh, good question. He's trying to untie his shoelace. Yeah. yeah. Give me the Rick Rude. I don't know what that is. That's the. I don't, I don't condone. Okay. Well, that's, that's I, a little graphic. It's like a little uh, private party hump the air there with a less rhythm somehow. You know, Nameth actually comes to TV every week with an empty suitcase. <laughs> Does he? He fills it up by <laughs> stealing other people's things. <laughs> Does he? Thanks all the Cheetos? <laughs> no, like, he has yeah. Dosh's glasses. He's got... Oh, oh, oh wow! wow. Just and he's, he's got John him. Silver's uppercut. Oh, yes, sure did. Sure did. What, what do you call that? Is that a floss? A little Rick Rude? Here we go. A little hump. What we'll the dance moves here on Elevation. A little, a little hump for the hunk. And a <laughs> back body drop as well. Give it to us, Johnny. Take it in. Here we go. Yeah, you got to retreat here, Hunk Man. No, no, no. Uh-oh. Nemeth trying to swing oh, for boy. Silver, but Silver cracked him across the jaw with that elbow strike. Hunk into the ring. He's, he's got to back off here. Create some space. <laughs> what is happening? Far too much humping going on in Elevation. A lot of humping. I love it. And now Silver turns things around once again on the Hunk. Hunk's got to find a way to create some momentum here. Cut him off. Oh. There you go. There you go. That's what you got to do. Drop kick to the ribs. As yeah, Hungi he took Aubrey, it good man. there. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Damn it now. Just both boots on, on the him. chest. Step on him. Put the pressure. Back off, Aubrey. Let the man do his job. Aubrey, a real glory hog. All right. Cover here. Just a one count. Glory hog in what way? Well, every time she comes out here, Justin Roberts go to announce her. Got to do her little wave. How do you do, you know, to the crowd people. You know, the people, they like her. Pisses you, me off. You know, it's his job because he is the announcer. Listen, why don't you back off, pal? Yeah, look at these knees. <laughs> you know, Johnny might be uh, experiencing a little fatigue here. How many matches did he have last week? He had three matches. Right? We had a one on Rampage, the Saturday Night Special, the pay-per-view. Yeah. How three, about it? Three physical matches covered here. Johnny Hungy coming to work. And he's paying for it. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. Lays on right hand, and now second one. That one on the back of the head every, of Silver. Every time he lays a strike in here, the crowd should go, Hunk! Give me another one. Hunk! Hunk! Come on! They're too busy chanting Johnny Hungy. Listen, these people don't know what they want. Buffalo, New York, home of the Bills, city of losers! Uh-oh, Johnny, Johnny's hunking up here! Oh! He's hunking up? Come on, man, get your... Here we go! Oh, it's Silver's! Nice snap on that German suplex. And John Silver charges in. Shot right there. Running elbow strike. Johnny can smell it here. Hunk, Hunk's got to do something. And Nemeth all caught up on the... Oh, boy! Kick to the back of the head. What's he looking for here, Excalibur? Silver, hoist him up, and maybe a little taste of the spin doctor from John Silver. No, thank you. Our leg hooked. Well Silver done. scores the win. Well done, John. Winner of this match, John Silver. Look at that face, Johnny Silver. Look at that. What do you think his Google history looks like? I don't want to know. <laughs> there it is, the spin doctor. All she wrote. Johnny Hungy, impressive victory here on Elevation. Where are we at, Excalibur? Buffalo, New York. John Silver won that match just like he threw out the first pitch of the Chicago White Sox Ooh, game. Over a, the plate. Hell of a strike. Hell Did you see that? Yep. Right inside the batter's box.
Big time main event coming up here on AEW Dark Elevation. Nick Camarado and Aaron Solo of the Factory collide with Buffalo Zone, Butcher and Blade. This is a tag team bout set for a one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Being accompanied by QT Marshall, Nick Camarado, and Aaron Solo. Justin Roberts, you moron. Led by QT Marshall and Cole Carter, you idiot. Take a look at Camarado. Looks great. Every week he adds a new accoutrement. Buffalo, New York. That's right, that's where we are. I could have sworn this was one of the cities I said we would never come to. <laughs> City of losers. Nothing has ever, nothing good has ever come from Buffalo, New York. In fact, I can't possibly think of anything, anybody that's come from Buffalo that matters worth a crap. Opponents, and accompanied by the Bunny from Buffalo, New York. At a combined weight of 501 pounds, the Butcher and the Blade. You better hope that these guys didn't hear what you were saying about Buffalo, New York. Well, two of my favorites, the Butcher and the Blade. Yeah, maybe they, hopefully they don't watch this back. You don't, I don't think they will, right? They're not gonna watch this back. Look at this psycho! <laughs> the Butcher, the Blade, the Bunny, reunited here in Buffalo for the first time in quite some time. And just in case the people didn't hear Justin Roberts, they made sure to wear the Buffalo Sabres jerseys to let the people know they're from right here in Buffalo, New York. There we go. Solo boot to the midsection on Blade. Right hands and elbows back and Blade up into the corner. I like it. Solo all over him here. Well, I mean, that's what you gotta do with a pro like the blade. You gotta, you gotta swarm him. No doubt. You gotta stay on him. Oh, big chop right there. Woo! Solo gave Blade some distance, and Blade able to turn it around at a moment's notice. Eat the boot. The crowd has come alive here in Buffalo. Tremendous reaction for the Butcher and the Blade. That's for sure. Competing. Camarado should have got the tag right there. Yeah. Come on, come on, oh, Dickie. Power boy. slam! Big time, big time power slam. I don't press, I was gonna say Butcher and Blade competing for the first time here in Buffalo, New York under the AEW banner. Uh, here we go, here comes Nicky Boy. Now, now he's getting into the match. He's too busy uh, sucking on that lollipop here. Uh-oh, uh-oh, the big men! Woo! It's gotta be a hazard there, right there, you know? There you go, Nicky Boy. <laughs> Suck on that, Butcher. Butcher just grabs a side headlock. Camarado, since I'm in, Ooh. neither man <laughs> What's this gonna come around here? Camarado has good butcher to come in with another shoulder tackle. And Camarado actually knocked a few steps back. Oh man, I love a little big boys. And the big boys throwing the weight around. I love it. Nicky boy. Camarado. Ooh, but, ooh butcher. Yeah, that got him. That got him good. Now up in the face of Camarado. But Camarado shortcut the knee to the midsection. Hammer throw into the corner, reversed by Butcher, and a oh. big back body drop. That's a load. That's a load coming down right there. And Butcher leaned in with the shoulder tackle, taking Camarado off his feet. You know, you don't really see this side of the Butcher and the Blade here. Paying attention to the fans. No, I, I think, yeah, I mean, the, the fans, and by and large, responsible for the, the higher gear. They certainly are. And Butcher and the Blade on point here. Take it in. Look at this. Giving him the raise the roof. Is that what that was? Like it's 1998 over here. Oh yeah, big shot in the back, Solo. Aaron Solo, the knee to the back, and then when Blade turns his attention to Solo. How do you like that, you bald bastard? Come. <laughs> Hammer away here, Nicky boy. Yes, that's what he does best. I don't know why I'm all over the Butcher and the Blade here. I normally like them, but here we are. Maybe it's Buffalo. This town stinks. Elbow strike by Aaron Solo. Oh, QT Marshall! Yes. I couldn't see it if, if he had the watch wrapped around his hand, but nonetheless, 
still landing a right hand to the head of the blade. Right behind Remsburg's back. I love it. This, this crowd is trying to think, uh, QT sucks. I'll tell you. I like QT Marshall. Marshall. Wait, whoa! Ooh. Ooh. Blade, great counter. Shake right on the roll there. And the tag made at the, the Butcher. Comes in with a back elbow, too, for Solo. Solo the swing, and the oh. short arm Lariat Camarado sets for a ride. That's what you gotta do, take Camarado, Nicky Boy out of the equation. And Butcher. Going for a ride! Pump handle suplex by the Butcher. Solo wrong part of town. Tag made to the blade, and this could be it. They're looking yes. for drag the lake. Not but on Nicky's watch. Instead, Solo. Able to avoid it solo. Oh boy, what are we looking for here? Up to the middle. Back demolition. But foot stomps. Solo. It's gonna be an upset yes. Buffalo. We Two. Did it. No. Thought he had him there. Thought he had him. You said we did it? Are you part yeah. of the factory? Yeah, like I'm getting caught up here. I'm getting caught up. Big big fan of Nicky Boy. Solo too. And Cole <laughs> Carter. Marshall in the ring. What's he got? QT. Now he's got the watch wrapped around his fist. Smash his face, cutie! That's how it. Oh, no, no! I'm straight. Are you gonna see an ejection here? No, no, yeah, Wait a second. Just, what? No, come on! QT Marshall. Give me a break here. And Cole Carter ejected from ringside. He's just showing off his watch, no big deal. And now the butcher and here the blade. And oh. the lake! The cover! And the win! There we go! Sending the people Here home. are your winners, The Butcher and The Blade. Sorry, Justin. Sending the people home happy here. Buffalo, New York, they didn't deserve it. But they got it. Let's take a look here. Classic double team maneuver by The Butcher and The Blade. Butcher and The Blade drag the lake to score the win tonight in our main event of AEW Dark. Elevation. Daddy, where are we? Buffalo, New York. Thanks for joining us here tonight for myself, Excalibur, for Daddy Magic, Matt Menard, for Justin Roberts. We'll see you tomorrow night for AEW Dark. Oh, uh, yeah. Who's excited to see MJF? Wednesday on TBS. It's the last stop before the Grand Slam event. The Tournament of Champions continues with two huge matches. It's my championship, and no one is taking that away from me! The rematch of Chris Jericho and Brian Danielson, and Sammy Guevara faces John Moxley. This isn't just time to win. This is time to be a legend. AEW Wednesday Night Dynamite, live at 8 on TBS.